This doll is worth way more than I thought. Back at the thrift. for bugs. Back at the thrift store and for 6 dollars I was surprised to find this old Transformer bug. This Transformer's name is Venom. It's from 1984 and should sell for around $35 to $40. Number 9. This doll is worth way more than I thought. Back at the thrift store and for $19.99, I found this 28-inch Monster High Skeleta doll. Now, I knew these larger dolls sell for a lot more than the smaller ones. She's in great condition, but I didn't know she's worth over $100. Number eight. This is huge thrift in the toy section and look at what I found on the bottom shelf this Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc launcher these things are pretty rare and they fetch upwards of a hundred dollars be on the lookout for these number seven that's worth over a hundred bucks. Back at the thrift store and for $12.99, I found this Lego Overwatch set that is still sealed in the box. When I find these sets, I always look for that factory seal tape. This is sealed and should sell for about $150. Number six. This toy is worth hundreds of dollars. Back at the thrift store and I just found this Jurassic World Hybrid Indominus Rex. I spotted this right away and it's only $5.99. Usually these larger dinos are worth a little bit more money. One of these recently sold in working condition for $150. supposed to see his face and that's why this toy made me a hundred dollars back at the thrift store and i couldn't believe what i just found sitting on the pegs for only 549 not one but two bags of 1992 inspector gadget toys the inspector gadget cartoon never showed dr claw's face and this was the only way to see what he looked like now all these toys lotted together i should be able to sell them for over a hundred dollars I can't believe what just happened at this yard sale. When I first walked up, I noticed this 1994 X-Men lunchbox, but what really caught my eye was over here in this pile of toys. One of the rarest super soakers, the CPS 3200, and it had the backpack. These sell as high as $250, and what I didn't notice is there was two of them. In 12 years, I've never seen these Nerf toys until now. Back at the thrift store, and I just found two brand new 90s Nerf golf clubs. No, I've never seen these before. I can't find anything online of a recent sale. They're only $3.49, and they have that awesome 90s Nerf logo all over them. There's a putter and a wedge. Now, you know I'm definitely getting these. If anybody has any information about these two Nerf sets, just let me know. Number two. After 10 years of searching, I have finally found my favorite childhood toy. When I was five on my way back from Disney, the TSA took this away from me at the airport and I was devastated. It's from the 90s Robin Williams hook movie and hearing this bell sound after 28 years flooded me with emotions. I am so excited to finally give this its forever home in my collection. to a complete stranger's house to buy thousands of dollars worth of old vintage toys. 
I was told that there were so many toys that I should rent a van, and that's exactly what I did, but I was not expecting what I saw when I walked into their basement. The entire basement was covered in boxes and boxes of 70s, 80s, and early 90s toys. I was super overwhelmed, but I dug right in and got to work. I couldn't believe the amount of original boxes from Star Wars to Nintendo to Transformers. I started categorizing everything out and we worked out an amazing price. But when I left, I realized I left one of the biggest items behind. Part 2 of my crazy vintage toy haul and the thousand dollar toy I left behind. I was over halfway home when I got a message saying I left the most expensive and most rare toy behind. So I turned my rented van around, and good thing I did because this thing is an amazing shape. This is the largest playset ever made at over 7 feet long. It's the USS Flag from the G.I. Joe toy line. Now that everything's unpacked, I gotta go through these toys. Part 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all coming soon. Rented a van and drove to a stranger's house to buy thousands of dollars worth of toys. Part 3. Now you know I had to do a time lapse to show you the sheer quantity of what I was up against with this van. As I was unloading, I wanted to go through it right there and then, but I had to get this van back to U-Haul. Also, as I was unloading, I didn't even realize I grabbed some of this stuff. The guy must have put extra boxes in while we were loading stuff up. I've already categorized everything, and now I'm starting to sort the G.I. Joe. Now, putting the parts and pieces to complete everything is a lengthy process, but this is what I have so far. Top 10s are exclusive to YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe.